Hello everyone and welcome back to Dragalia Foundry, a fan channel where everything Dragalia Lost can be found. This video is going to contain my summoning session for Valix and Ferris, and Michael I suppose, on their prize summon showcase. So in this video I'm going to be trying to get at least the two adventures and possibly Michael as well if we happen to get lucky. I'd love to have all three and add them to my collection, but it's really the royal siblings here who I'm most excited about. And if I had to choose, I guess I would have to choose Valix over Ferris too. Hopefully it doesn't come down to that, but you never know, we may get to the end of our summoning today and have to spend all our resources sparking for one character over the other. So that is the worst case scenario, but let's see if we can avoid that. So far, I've just done daily deals to try get these two characters, but no luck, no five stars or anything. So I have increased my pity rate once over the 10 days that this banner has been available. And we're going to start off with some single summons as usual, try increase our pity rate at least to 5% before we go in with tenfold. And I've been playing the event compendium and everything, have the diamantium left over from the new year. So we have the resources to spark if we need to. There's also some events in the compendium I haven't finished yet, so there's a potential to go back to the well on those. But not a lot of time is left on the banner. I'm recording this after I looked at Nina's showcase, so only a few hours left in the day. So we'll see how much uh, we're really able to do that here. Hopefully we won't have to, and we'll get lucky, and we'll go home early with Valix and Ferris. Let's get started. We're going to start off with some single summons. We'll go ahead and do a batch of 10 to start things off. And looks like we're gonna get a five star right off the bat. Pretty nice, very exciting. Just one of them, but that's okay. So we want to see, oh, a staff. That's not good. We want to see a lance or an ax, right? So I think that the staff is probably for sure a duplicate adventure. I can't think of any staff that I'm missing. And who's it gonna be? All right, looks like you caught a Cassandra this time around. Fair enough, but we do get the prizes. I guess that's something, but uh, not anything particularly good there either. So we've reset our pity rate, but we've also done it in the midst of summoning. So now we're gonna do six together to try and increase our pity rates again. And I see that dove there, so we're at least getting a four star on this summon. And we'll go ahead and watch through in case we got some kind of surprise twist, but I don't think we will. Looks like not. So now, what are our prizes? Anything good? Not particularly. Now we'll do 10 again. We'll see if we get a similar scenario where we get a five star or not this time around. Will we get any kind of rainbow here? We do. And just one again but hoping to see an axe or a lance. All right, mana caster. Okay, well, I don't have all the mana casters, so there's some potential there. Uh, Irene would be super nice to see, but it also could be a duplicate too. Let's see. And it's Summer Mim. All right, well, Summer Mim, I just happened to summon you a little bit ago, not too long ago, really. I haven't actually gotten to use her too much, but uh, I do already have her. So I think since she was at the end, we're back, yeah, we're back needing to do 10 singles to increase our pity rate, so let's do that and uh, see what happens here. We're getting another five star in these singles, so that's pretty good. And can we get an axe or... No, we're getting a dragon. Axe or lance? No, but it could be Michael. Like I said, I want Michael. He's just not my highest priority on this showcase. But definitely rather see him than any other dragon at this point. So very glad to get one copy of Michael there. And no prizes of note. But uh, this is a dragon who, you know, with the Kaleidoscape, with us getting those Sunlight Stones, Little by little, I'm starting to unbind all my dragons and that's helping with the encyclopedia bonuses. So I'm very much 
welcome to the collection. And over the next few months, you know, as I get some sunlight stones, I'll max and mine, Michael. All right, silver prize. Some rainbow orbs. Just three. So I guess that's, you know, that's a prize technically. And now let's try and increase our pity rate again. And we've really been getting a lot of five stars off the singles, surprisingly. We have spent a lot of vouchers already. So this one doesn't look like we're getting anything. There's one four star, two, and the third one's at the end. Oh, I'm glad we waited. Okay, we did get something. So as far as I understand, when you see that rainbow break like that out of the gold, uh, out of the gold weapon, then it's certainly going to be somebody you don't already have in your collection. So I think this is very likely to be Ferris here, which would mean we just have to go for Valix at this point, and that'd be great. Let's see if that's actually the case and confirm, of course. And it is. Oh, he looks really good. Oh, very, very glad to get him in the collection for sure. Especially, okay, silver prize. You know, part of me does hope that maybe we have enough resources left and can do some summoning for Nina. And one of my concerns with Nina from a personal standpoint is just, I really like Formal Noel being able to decrease enemy poison resistance because it helps me use Eleonora more effectively. So if I was, if I was gonna throw Nina on my team, I would want another character who can kind of do that. And Ferris, just like Formal Noel, can help with lowering that resistance or increasing the duration of affliction. So pretty nice pickup here. And I think, yeah, he does look really good. Wow, his hair, very luscious, I would say. Okay, so we got Ferris, that was awesome. Now we just have to get Valix. We need to do seven more singles before we increase our pity rate. So let's go ahead and go for all seven at once. So it looks like even though Ferris appeared at the end, it technically wasn't the last um, the last summon in our batch because somehow we ended with needing to do seven more to increase our pity rate. So I guess that's what, uh, what took place. Was it was technically somewhere in the middle, but maybe they bump it to the end because of that transformation mechanic. All right, so now I'm pretty sure we have to do 10 and I think we're just gonna, we're gonna get greedy here and see if we get got, but I don't wanna sit through all of them, even though that would be more efficient probably. And we'll, we'll skip ahead. Okay, we weren't punished this time. We didn't get Valix and we're at an even 5% now, or I guess odd 5% as it were. Now let's start using some vouchers. And this is the part of the session that can get super dicey, right? We may just be getting extra Michaels. We may get be getting extra Ferris, which just means Eldwater. Or we may be getting two five stars in one circle. So one dragon and one axe, come on. Oh, another dragon, but another dragon, I'll take it. I mean, Free unbinds on Michael, hopefully. That's one of them. His uh, his pose and his portrait, I feel like, is perfect for his character. And our other dragon. Actually, Giovanni is the other permanent dragon I need unbinds on. No joke, so. Actually, really good circle for us. The one permanent dragon I'm still missing is uh, Tia Shan Gongju, so that's also a good hit for us if she happens to show up, but I have no copies of her whatsoever. And hey, for silver prizes, these are actually pretty good silver prizes. Very solid, very solid circle that time around. So let's do another tenfold and see if we can get that ax that we're missing. You know, maybe I should just stop while I'm ahead, but I don't know, I, I think Valix is, it's just a must have. Valix is, we've been through so much with the guy. I really wanna get Valix into my collection. And uh, looks like an Agni. So 
gonna be part of the Eldwater farm. Just try get some extra unbinds by playing the story. But honestly, it's gotten to the point for me where Eldwater is just not the bottleneck that it used to be with all these dragon unbinds and all these freebies like Omnisite to help out building new characters and building characters with Trials Spirals. So we're hitting a lot of five stars in a row, by the way. Um, looks like possibly another Ferris with that Lance there. But yeah, Eldwater's not really a gate for me anymore, but it does mean extra copies of good worm prints. So that's something I welcome for sure. And yep, just as we expected. So another Ferris. And oh wow, only a bronze prize that time. I guess that's uh, what's guaranteed, no more than that. So now let's do another circle. And I wouldn't be surprised if we start hitting a little drought of circles that just have four stars as we were running pretty hot there. And on these 4% showcases, it's not that likely to string together like a lot of circles with five stars in a row. So we skip. Gold prize, okay. Oh, I hope that's something good. And it's seven twinkling sand. Not all that useful anymore. At uh, one point in time, that was like a significant gatekeeper of progress, was just playing enough events, keeping up with the game to be able to get gold sand, or twinkling sand rather, to craft five star core weapons. So another dragon this time around. No axe inside unless we get a surprise here at the end. And it doesn't look like it, so let's see who our dragon is. Okay, that's the third Michael we've had, right? Third or fourth? Another gold prize from Pia. And a silver from Estelle. And Champion's Testaments. So, in the conversation about Eldwater, I was also going to add that Champion's Testaments have also become far less of a bottleneck with the additions to the event compendium. There's just so many more ways to get Champion's Testaments now that I've actually got to the point where I have no more need for them at all. Other than when new characters release, I basically am done with Champion's Testaments now, and I think I have like 10 or 12 extra at this point. So for now, those will collect dust until there's another uh, purpose for them. But uh, in the past, certainly that would have been a really good hit on the prizes there. Our Wormite's getting low. We do have our Diamantium, and it's kind of looking like Things are headed that way at this point that we may have to end up using some of that to get Valix here as he is shy to show up. Let's see if we get any kind of luck on this circle. If not, we'll just skip ahead. And oh, I wanted that axe to change so much, but no, it's just UA. Platinum prize though, platinum prize, come through please, gold prize. Yes, that's really good. So even though Sunlight Stones are available now from Kaleidoscape and from Mercurial Gauntlet Editions and so on, that is still super welcome. That is one of the resources that I do feel like I still need a little bit more of um, just to finish out the dragons that I have remaining. And the fact that, you know, there may be another Gala Dragon this month. So that's pretty awesome. Okay, that was a good hit. I'm, I'm happy with that and no five star there. So we did get to take up our pity rate while still getting a nice hit for ourselves. So let's see what we get this time. Maybe we'll get some good prizes to make up for these four stars that, uh, you know, are sadly not Valix. Gosh, at this point, I don't know if there's ever going to be any other four star adventures added to the game with the frequency of new character releases. It really just seems like the focus is going to be purely on five stars, and it's been that way for quite some time. But especially now that we see these existing characters continue to appear on summon showcases, fewer brand new characters even being introduced into the game, it just sort of makes you wonder. Like, I'm pretty optimistic because I feel like it's been great as far as every showcase feels like a, a winner, it feels exciting, it makes you want to summon. Uh, compared to some of the filler banners. But at the same time, you know, there is that part of my brain that sort of questions and wonders and is like, you know, what is going on? Like the devs are really cranking out these like high 
value characters, super popular characters, when you sort of think that maybe they could save them for the future. So there is part of my mind that wanders there and thinks like, does this have any meaning about the game's future? Like, are we winding town for the fourth anniversary? Is that like the finale or something? But you know, I've said that in the past and that hasn't ever really come to be true. So I assume that time will come, but I'm no person to really provide predictions on that for sure. So let's skip ahead. And another silver prize. We've, our goodie box is now getting the excess. So we've, uh, we've done a fair bit of summoning here for sure. Almost getting up to the 200 worm sigil mark as well. And there's our five star. Hopefully we get a few of them in this circle to counteract our drought. And we get three. Love to see that. A dagger and two dragons. Okay. No Valix then. But who's this dagger gonna be? Summer Norwin? Alright, good to see you, Norwin. And our dragons are going to be. Let's see. Okay, I... are we full unbind on Michael yet? If if we were, we are now. So we've gotten all five Michaels, which means we could save our Sunlight Stone. Wow, okay. And Silver Prize. And that's it. Two Michaels and a Norwin. Summer Norwin. All right, well, where am I getting low? It's basically gonna go to zero here, barring something surprising happening. And two Fafnirs is just a way to make a surprise happen with two five stars coming up. So there's probably another Ferris in all likelihood and another dragon. Probably gonna be a Michael. So Ferris. And uh, would love to see a TA here, but let's be real, it's probably gonna be Michael. Oh, it's uh, Konoha Nasakuya. All right, more fodder uh, for the Eldwater farm, for sure. Although she's still a good dragon. If those skill damage dragons get uh, an extra unbind, they'll still be pretty good. And three silver prizes in a row. Okay, Moonlight Stones, you know, do convert to Sunlight Ore, which then converts to Sunlight Stone, so that is something. But uh, our Nina hopes are fading into the twilight now, since I don't think we can really go for her with just our Diamantium stash. And we probably are going to have to go through a significant chunk of that too to get Valix, unless, unless, ah, oh, we get a dragon, unless we get an axe there. So let's, uh, let's skip, skip, skip ahead. And another Sakuya, and not even the Summer Edition. Okay. Well, we do get a gold prize from Cinder Drake and a silver prize from, who is that, Astral Imp? Silver prize from Musashi, and it's a Testament and some more Twinkling Sands. So this is gonna be our last tenfold with Wormite. Oh, I probably should have checked something. Well, we're gonna get a five star, so that's good. But I probably should have checked to see like how our multiples are on our worm sigils, because that might have been a bad uh, use of wormite. We'll see what happens. So this time it was just a five star dragon, I think, and it's a liger. So more eld water for us. Amane. And Valentine's Orion and UA giving us a silver prize. All right, looks like we weren't really punished here. So my concern was, you know, if we were like at if we were at 220 already and we just went up to 230, that would have been bad because our Diamantium tenfolds are going to give us 20 each time. Um, but it worked out. I mean, we might go. We're going to basically go four over if we have to spark, but that's okay. So, uh, glad that that worked out for us, but of course, here we are still in our summoning frenzy and hoping to get lucky here. But it's basically pretty much at this point looking like a spark, so I'm hoping there's not a surprise Valentine's banner after Nina's banner. That would really catch me off guard for sure. Uh, could happen, but I 
kind of feel like it's just gonna be maybe a dragon special. Oh, a platinum prize. Nice. Fubuki. All right, well, Damascus Ingot, not the best platinum prize, but we did get a Sunlight Stone earlier, so can't be too unhappy about that. But yeah, I kind of feel like maybe it'll be a dragon special, but they'll throw Atlas onto it as well. Something like that, because it is weird that Atlas isn't in circulation when we had Prometheus and Epimetheus and Menoetius, but part of that could also be what was mentioned uh, a while back before the 30th anniversary, that the game's pace of releasing new characters was just going to slow down a little bit. So Menoetius might come at a later time, perhaps. So we're going to do two more tenfold, and then that should be a wrap, and then we'll spark and uh, call it a day here. Looks like Valix did not want to come home, as we got multiple Ferris, fully unbound, unbound Michael, uh, unless we get our Valix here, of course, in which case we've done a lot of summoning to get this, uh, this Valix. But no, we're getting a sword. Hey, it could be Undercover Grace. I still need her. I uh, would be happy to see her for sure. So let's see if we get lucky on that one. More likely than not, it's gonna be a sword character I already have, because I just have more of the sword characters than I'm missing. And, yep, it's Pecorine. Hey, yeah, it's Pecorine. How crazy is that? With the silver prize, no less. And here we go with our last tenfold of the video. So, it took us the maximum amount of resources possible, but I would say our returns are pretty good on the day. We didn't whiff on the banner, we did clear everything, we don't have to spend any extra resources to unbind our Michael, and we even have a Sunlight Stone for the future, and some more sources of Eldwater, and some Eldwater from Duplicate, so all in all, pretty good summoning session in my opinion. Let's see if we get any prizes here on the way out as we spark. Nothing of particular note. We now have 300 Worm Sigils. Let's just take a look real quick. So we're going for Valix, and our summoning session has now come to a close. Valix is our ally. We got Valix, Ferris, and all the Michaels our hearts could desire. Resources are pretty shot at this point, so gonna be another period of savings. Gonna go through that compendium for sure and try to stock up on whatever Worm I and tickets I can from there. Hoping to gear up before the half anniversary for sure, but maybe before the end of the month for the gala banner that we're having, if I can. If not, that may be one I skip. But that is going to do it for today, everyone. Let me know if you decided to summon how it went for you in the comments below. Otherwise, thank you as always for watching, take care, and I'll see you next time.